Hey everybody, so I'm going to show you a really quick trick on dealing with uh, stray hairs, these flyaway hairs. Before we get started, please help me out and subscribe to my channel. It'll help me and encourage me to continue delivering high quality content. This was an image that I entered into competition in a local uh, PPA annual image competition here in Austin. And one of the criticism, criticisms I received was cleaning up the uh, flyaway hairs. What I'm going to be doing is now submitting this to PPA on the national level and going to take some of these criticisms to heart. And in this case, I'm going to remove the flyaways, flyaway hairs. So, a quick way, this is the original image. I went from this to this. And now we're gonna try to fine tune it a little more. So the original PSD file, this is my, this layer 11 right here was the latest layer where I flattened the image or really stamped visible. So I can still make uh, edits to it. Let's uh, show you what I mean by that. So that is the edit without any of the adjustment layers and then with the adjustment layers. So what I can do here is edit this layer 11. Let's duplicate it just to be non-destructive. And I'm gonna use the liquify tool. All right, so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is choose the freeze mask tool to freeze the periphery of the hair because after this what we're going to do is use the forward warp tool to squeeze the hair and to eliminate the flyaways as much as possible. Now you will need some real estate around the periphery of the hair. In other words, you'll need up here it's going to be harder for me to do this, but I, I can probably manually remove some of the hair. All right, so now what we're gonna do is switch to forward warp tool and voila. Now, one thing we have to be careful of is stretching the image so far that these edges don't uh, become affected. So I can just squeeze that back. Get that back in place right there as well. Okay, so let's click okay. Now, um, <clears throat> we've, we've, done, we've removed the flyaways, but obviously those looks unnatural. So there is another trick we can do to reintroduce a small amount of flyaways, and that is by using the brush. And let's switch to a black brush. Actually, let's uh, stamp, or rather uh, use the eyedropper tool to get a sample of the color of the hair. I'm gonna bring down the brush all the way down to one. I'm going to bring up my brush settings. Let's get this retouch for me panel out of the way over here. Let's move it down here. All right, I'm gonna go to my transfer option here under brush settings. And what we wanna do is mirror the effect of a hair that starts and ends. So we would do uh, in under, under control fade, Okay, we would bring, actually, this is the number you're going to control right here, 200. I want to start, let's start with, let's start with two, 300. And you get a preview down here, as you can see. It's very light, but you can see it down there. And then let's do some testing to see what that looks like. So there, that's what, about what it looks like. Let's also get our smoothing up. Okay, and so we can create little strokes of hair like that, little strands of hair to reintroduce it and make it look a little more realistic. Now, it's a little low, 300. Let's double this to 600. And let's do a test. 
So that's probably closer to what we want. There's a little bit of jagginess in the hair, uh, which is natural. As you can see up here, there's jagginess. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and basically just create some fake hair here. All right, and uh, what we want to do too is uh, make a little some corrections on the flow of the periphery of the hair. Let's go to uh, liquify again and see if we can kind of smooth out this overall a little more. All right, and uh, yeah, it's still looking a little um, artificial, so we'll add some more hair here just to kind of recreate that illusion. The idea is to make it, is to obscure the, the periphery of the line, and uh, of the hairline, or rather this, this part, so it's not such a, a big drop-off, and it's a little more subtle and realistic looking. And we can throw a few jaggies going out there. Okay, so something a little bit, bit like that. I think you get the idea. I could keep going here to make this a little softer, the periphery, that's probably what you'd wanna do, but I think you gotta get the idea. Um, you gotta just reintroduce this hair. It's bizarre because the, <laughs> the whole idea is to take away strays, but you don't wanna make it so artificial looking and where the periphery of the hair is, it, there's like a sudden drop of just no hair because that obviously isn't realistic either. In this case though, I'm attempting to satisfy the judges and so I hope this, uh, this will satisfy them and that is gonna be it. So I hope that helps guys. If you like what you saw, uh, please like the video and subscribe and click that bell and we'll see you next time.